you had to restart your journey getting into AI, becoming an AI lead, what would you do? If I, if I was to start this journey over again, um, I mean, I, I actually think that the single biggest thing I would change is I would have started it sooner. What does that mean? It means that like, okay, like I did my undergrad in civil engineering. I ended up getting a master's and a PhD in civil engineering. And then after that, I decided to switch into the tech world. Uh -huh. um, and, you know, I, like, I think a part of me wishes that maybe I wish I'd, I'd done this sooner. So like maybe even after undergrad or, or you know, even, even if I, you know, perhaps studied a different topic in undergrad, I, I may have made that jump happen. Nonetheless, I mean, my advice to people is always like, if you, if you're curious about a different path, get moving. I wouldn't recommend learning CUDA from scratch. PyTorch, Python framework is enough. Mm -hmm. Would you elaborate on that? Yeah, I mean, I think, uh, I, I think the things I mentioned last time are probably Python, R, and SQL. Uh -huh. um, and, you know, so I think those are still relevant. Coding is changing, um, primarily because of what's happening in large language models. But that being said, like, large language models are not yet at the point where you could just blindly trust their output. And what does that mean? That means that you have to be able to tell when it's telling you, giving you something that you can use versus something that you can't use. Uh -huh. And so, so ultimately, like the, the people who can use a large language model to augment their own workflow, um, in, even in a, a technical setting, like those are the people who are gonna win. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and so you can't be a person who's just like, just gonna prompt the LLM uh, and then it gives you Python code, but you can't verify the usage of the Python code. Um, and but similarly, the person who writes Python code only without using an LLM may move slower than the person who can do both. Um, so, so I'd say learning it in so much as like you can think for yourself uh -huh. is probably the most valuable thing.